Shruti and welcome to Yarn Stitch Color. Before we go any forward, I would like to request you to please subscribe to the channel and watch the whole video till the end so that I know you like the content that I am putting out. So today we are going to see how to make these foundation stitches. So this is a foundation single crochet, a foundation half double crochet and a foundation double crochet. So why would we even use these stitches and how do we, what do we replace them for etc. So I'll just try to share the best that I know for you know how I have used in my experience these stitches. So the benefits of these stitches are like uh, it gives a very stretchy base unlike the chain that we make chain and a row one. So this is a single crochet that's the stretch with single crochet foundation okay here I have made a chain with a row one of single crochet I'm going to just hold these two at a similar point and look at the stretch this one has so much this one has a lot more okay so these ones allow us to have a lot of stretch so please use your discretion where you'd like to use it if you don't need the stretch then you can take your call because this will give you a bit of stretch so the stitches are the same i've made uh, 18 chains for both but you can see a slight increase in the uh, length of foundation single crochet so please make your swatches and take a wise decision this one other benefit is it helps us to construct two rows in one go so we don't have to make a chain and then do the row one we are here currently doing with the foundation we are doing uh, foundation chain as well as the row one together okay so we construct two rows together the third thing is if your project calls for a very very long chain imagine you have to chain some 300 400 odd chains and then make a, a single crochet or a half double crochet or a double crochet for the row one I would simply go for a foundation chain foundation single double or a half double because I would make two rows in one go so I wouldn't want to make a chain of 300 and then make the single crochet for the first row but when I say substitute it's a good substitute you have to surely look at the purpose of the project that you're making and the look with each stitch I'm going to show the difference in look again but right now also I would like to show this is how a chain with a uh, single crochet looks like this is how a foundation single crochet looks like so there is a visible difference okay so if you don't mind this visible difference only then go for it all right this gives a good stretch and can be used as substitute for uh, hats beanies or uh, gloves places where you want that sort of a stretch a good tip for making these foundation chains or foundation stitches would be to always while working on it keep your tension really loose while demonstrating the uh, uh, each individual stitch I would again mention pull your loop really tall so please pay attention to that and really pull your loop nice at sorry nice and tall okay and then the other thing would be always use a little uh, slack in your yarn so pull it out a little from the ball don't let it be very tight ball or skein or whatever you're using so your working yarn needs to always be slightly loose it should flow easily the chain one that we make for each individual stitch i will be mentioning it for sure again please pull the loop nice and tall and the most important tip if you are replacing it for a large number of chains uh, there's a very small calculation 
सो इफ योर पैटर्न कॉल्स फॉर हंड्रेड सिंगल क्रोशेज प्लीज रीड द रोड वन सो इन द फाउंडेशन द पैटर्न वुड से मेक अ चेन ऑफ वन नॉट वन ओके एंड इन द रो वन दे आर सेंग स्किप वन एंड प्लेस हंड्रेड सिंगल क्रोशेज दैट मीन्स यू नीड अ हंड्रेड सिंगल क्रोशेज एज स्टिचेज ओके सो दैट चेन टू दैट वी डू इन द बिगिनिंग फॉर सिंगल एंड हाफ डबल एंड द चेन थ्री दैट वी डू फॉर डबल इज गोइंग टू बी इग्नोर्ड सो कामली जस्ट लुक एट योर रो वन एंड वॉट एवर नंबर योर रो वन सेज इफ इट सेज हंड्रेड मेक हंड्रेड ऑफ दीज स्टिचेज इग्नोर द चेन टू और द चेन थ्री दैट वी मेक इन द बिगिनिंग डोंट काउंट इट बिकॉज वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू काउंट इट एज अ स्टिच ऑल्सो ऑल राइट एंड देन कॉन्टिन्यू टू मेक योर हंड्रेड स्टिचेज so that would be majorly it as a beginner's tip for using or experimenting with these foundation stitches let's begin and see these stitches individually this is how the foundation single crochet looks like this is the top and that would be the base chain okay i have marked the top with a yellow marker and the base with an orange so that we can easily identify and look at it i have also made a uh, regular chain with a single crochet just to show you the difference because the final look difference is quite a lot so like i have discussed how with substitution we shouldn't go blindly because the look will be very different this is the wrong side and that's the right side or the front side of the single crochet so this one the one below is with regular chain and a single crochet for row 1 and the top one is for foundation single crochet So right now we are going to learn how to make this. To begin with, we will simply make a slip knot and chain 2. That's 1 and 2. Now we will insert in the first chain this one. okay so you can also look at it as the second one from the hook so this is the chain where we will insert we'll do a yarn over and pull up now we have two loops on the hook we will yarn over and pull through just one we are making a chain here but when we pull we will pull up a nice and tall loop look at this loop now we will yarn over and pull through both that's when we are making the single crochet and the chain one part constitutes the foundation chain now we will insert under that foundation chain the the foundation chain that we made we'll insert under that under both the loops okay yarn over and pull up a nice tall loop yarn over and pull through just one so we are doing chain one again nice and tall yarn over pull through both so here we've made two stitches continue doing this for the length that you desire so insert under the two loops of the chain one that we made yarn over and pull up yarn over and pull through one that's like a chain one yarn over and pull through both the loops on your hook insert yarn over and pull up 
yarn over pull through one doing a chain one yarn over pull through both and remember this part also has these V looking stitches your hook is very close to that right so if you are new to crochet and have any, any difficulty remembering just look at it this way that it's very close to your hook so you are not inserting into any of these you are inserting into the stitch that is away from your hook if required you can place a marker also here somewhere which will tell you which side to keep inserting it so we have that then yarn over and pull through one making the chain one yarn over and pull through both that is all that is all there is to foundation single crochet now we are looking at foundation half double crochet again the yellow signifies the top and orange shows us the bottom chain this is how it looks like and I'll also show you the regular chain with half double crochet this is how it looks like so there is a visible difference in the design like how they look like look at them this is one with regular chain and half double crochet and this one is with foundation half double crochet so as I've discussed please use your own judgment of design before using or replacing blindly okay now let's see how to make this foundation half double crochet to begin with we will again have a long tail with a slip knot and chain 2 now we will insert into the first chain but we will yarn over and insert it's very close to how we make a half double crochet it's very close to that so insert here yarn over and pull up a loop now we have three loops on the hook we will yarn over and make a chain okay this is what makes the difference between you know a regular half double crochet and a foundation half double crochet so we've made a chain right now now we will yarn over and pull through all forming the half double crochet and just let me also use a marker to show you something next row when we start working on it we will surely have a doubt about whether to insert our hook for the next row in the chain 2 part or the half double crochet thing so we will be marking the first half double crochet with a marker because that's where we are going to insert for the next row to build the next row right now yarn over insert under the two loops of the chain one yarn over and pull up nice and tall so if this loop is nice and tall for the chain one then your project or the work is going to be stretchy otherwise it will look skewed so please take time to ensure that this one is nice and tall and so is this okay then yarn over and pull through all three yarn over insert under the two loops of the chain one yarn over and pull up yarn over pull through one making a chain one now we have three again yarn over and pull through all three okay this is how we form the foundation half double crochet continue doing the same thing 
till you reach your desired length so yarn over insert under the two loops of chain one yarn over and pull up yarn over pull through one forming a chain one yarn over pull through all three okay that's how we continue to make it and let me show the reverse side of regular chain with half double crochet and foundation half double crochet okay that's the front that is this one's back and the regulars back so there is quite a lot of difference in its look okay this is how your foundation half double crochet will look like this is the foundation double crochet and that's the regular double crochet with a chain and the first row being a double crochet okay that's the back all right this is the top and that's the bottom Now let's see how to make the foundation double crochet. Place a slip knot on your hook and chain 3. Okay, so 1, 2 and 3. Now yarn over and insert into the first chain yarn over and pull up okay three loops on the hook yarn over pull through one that's your chain one yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and that would be our first stitch so we are always going to ignore the beginning chain 2 chain 3 whatever we do we are just going to ignore it not use it for the next row all right now yarn over insert under the two loops of the chain one yarn over and pull up nice and tall yarn over pull through one making a chain one now yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two that is all we are going to continue doing this chain one yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over insert under the two loops of the chain one yarn over and pull up a tall loop chain one yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two okay so you can continue making this for your desired length 